and I had some mail. Now, you may ask, what do we have to do with that? Well, if this is what I think it is, it's going to be a apron that was sent to me by one of my followers and good friend of mine. Uh, which he was struggling to read this so he sent it to me for me to read it uh, and um, I know it's not the kind of videos I usually do but I just thought you know why not in this occasion so let's kind of get more into details what chip this is etc etc so this should be a 24C128. Let's kind of just confirm that. Actually, let's kind of give it a good clean first, and I will show you how we're gonna watch this. Okay, and there is, don't know if you can read down the screen, so 4S128, so you can't really see very good, but I can definitely see it, so it's 4S128, which means it's a 24C128, if I'm not mistaken, uh, so let's kind of plug in, let's kind of put it into the, I'm going to try with Xprog first, uh, just very quickly and let's see what happens so let's go and start the first thing I want to make sure the chip is cleaned everything is good on the chip right I can see a little bit of dirt around the chip the legs which is not very good to start with so I'm gonna give you a clean I will show you how I give the clean onto these ones um, what I usually do I dry them out a little bit so this is um, alcohol okay I'll leave a link in the description below for the for what this is in case if you are interested and I'll leave a link in the description below for these pens they are fiberglass pens so I'm gonna clean the legs first then on the other side Now the other side as well. On this side. That's it. Now we are going to wash the chip. Make sure we take all that fiber fibers out from here. Should be alright. Now we're going to place it into the adapter. Now I keep being asked this question, all right, which is which pin is pin number one? Now, most of the chips or some of the chips they have, I'm going to have to put it under the microscope again because I don't think you'll be able to see that on there. So I'll put it here so we can actually see in there. Just bear with me for a, a second. Okay, so a lot of the chips, they have a small dot on one of the corners, okay? So that small dot indicates pin number one. Some other ones, some other chips, they actually have a little mark here in the middle, which means you place that mark to your left hand side, and pin number one is going to be the pin underneath, on the underside. Uh, another way of doing it, which I usually do, actually, you can't really see it right now because I'm too, I'm not focused enough. But the letters are facing uh, upside down. So that's the four is here, S, I don't know if you can barely see in there. Then one, two, eight, can you see it? Which means it's upside down. So basically when you put the chip facing the correct uh, orientation, with the letters facing the correct orientation, bottom left is the first pin as you as you can see as well if you turn the chip around bottom left is already marked as a pin number one 
but would also uh, align with the letters in the correct orientation bottom left is your first pin so for you guys that have been asking me so many times how I know what is pin number one that's how you do it a lot of the times it's not a problem if you place the ship in the wrong uh, in the wrong orientation it most of the times doesn't cause any damage still always try to put it in the correct way there's no point just in case some chips they can be more sensitive and it can corrupt the data etc etc so always try to do it like that and this is 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 how you can do it okay so now we're going to place the chip in the adapter and try to read it okay so on my adapter in my case I know that my pin number one is going to be marked right there anyway when I so one that's 816 is a 16 pins but as you can see I'm only using half of the adapter so I'm gonna place the chip One of the things I've noticed on this chip he sent me is that the, there is a little bit of solder on the underside of the legs. Sometimes they can create an issue. Now I'm going to connect this into Xprog. And now it's going to open. X proc obviously so let's gonna select our chip which is a serial IP ROM and it's gonna be it's gonna be a microchip 24 I think it's gonna be a, a microchip maybe not all done guys Unless it's that one in there. Sometimes it works in there. I'm not sure if this is an ST. Because it doesn't say it's nothing. So let's try to read this as a microchip just there. Yeah, there's no way it's just it's gonna be that one in there. Microchips 24C128. Okay. It's gonna do that. It's already in place. It's gonna try to read it. There we go. Now, for you uh, guys interested, I believe this is a um, EPROM from a uh, Vauxhall radio, something like that. Just gonna check the device. What he's doing now is checking, it's just making another read and compare whether the read it just did. Make sure every single bit uh, matches. So there we go. So, uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's from a radio. Not really sure what radio it is. I'm going to have to ask for details. Um, uh, okay, I think this is going to be my VIN number for the car because I think these radios are programmed to the VIN number there's not a lot of data to be honest with you on this oh there is some here okay looks to me this is the radio stations somewhere along those lines okay Oh, that's it. That's how you read the the 24C uh, one to eight. Uh, simple as that. Uh, just a curiosity as well, because I believe he was trying to read this using Carprog. Uh, we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to try to read this using Carprog as well, just in case. Just make sure we get the same data as well. So let's go to do it. Okay, so for Caprock guys, I don't really have, um, I've never made one, I never made an adapter like this for Caprock. So I'm going to use the pliers, I don't really like to use these pliers, but what I usually do is, because um, I don't like to read stuff in circuits, so, 
and these pliers are intended for that. So what I do is I just put the chip like that upside down. Okay, pin number one in my case in the car prog is marked with a white um, uh, shrink tube in there. So they are all black except one that is white. That's how my one is marked as a pin one. I already opened car prog and we're just going to select the chip. So it's going to be a 24C in there. Okay, and this is the 24C128. Okay. So we're gonna read and verify. I'm not gonna write the chip, so I don't need to write nothing there. Just press OK and read is there. So let's gonna read the chip. And it's reading. So let them to do the job. Because we select verify, is now gonna verify the data. So why does once again it's going to, oh yeah it makes another read and it's going to compare the read with the last read uh, it just made uh, to make sure he has the same data verify is okay which means my reading is good now we're going to save this file okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to compare both files make sure they both came out okay and that's pretty much it okay and this is the software i use x comparison and as you can see straight away there's no difference uh, when you have difference they come up appear straight away because as you open the files um it detects the difference and they come up here and then you can uh, press these buttons and move across the difference still uh, when there is difference they are highlighted in green I'm just gonna scroll through synchronization and I'm gonna scroll from top to bottom and you're gonna see no greens no green blocks comes up as you can see all the same so both reads are exact the same and I think that's it for this video really I don't know how interesting you guys are gonna think uh, this will be I never covered something like that before, I think. I did many prom reading, etc, etc, but never took you through this sort of detail. Um, and um, and that, that's it, really. Um, I'm going to try to help him uh, with this, uh, the data in this EPROM, because I think he wants to put this radio on a different car, and the radio doesn't work, because I think the radio, this, radio, this particular radio, is linked to the car, uh, where is initial programmed uh, through the VIN number, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to try to to give my hand with that. But this was purely to show you the read and writing of, in this case, a 24C128. Same applies to any EPROM like this. Uh, is 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 the same thing, guys. It's no difference to uh, what I've done here. Um, and as I said, yeah, I'm going to leave uh, in the description below some links. To the hardcore wall, maybe these adapters. These adapter guys, I did them myself. If you have an X Prog, you know your X Prog, you will come. Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Yeah, you will come with one of these adapters, but not with this blue bit at the top. Okay, uh, so this is for you to solder the chip straight into this little PCB. Um, I'm, I've soldered this here myself, and then I put an extension here. Okay, and then obviously I made this cable into this adapter. These adapters you can buy. Like I said, I'll leave the, the link in the description below uh, for you guys if you want to get all of this stuff. Uh, ideally, I would make one for Xprog as well, uh, rather than connect to the pliers to connect straight into this. But most of the times I need to read an EPROM, I go straight to Xprog. Uh, so that's it, really. But Let's gonna terminate this guys, uh, don't know if you're gonna enjoy it or not, I really hope you do, hope there's some information here you guys can find useful, uh, if you do still have any questions, any comments, uh, please, please, please put them below, and like always, thanks for watching.